here. So we got the uh, unified champ, but not the undisputed champ in Lopez. And we got the guy who we call the email champion in Devin Hay. So it'll be a, a very good matchup. Young studs right here, man. Very good fight. Uh, good young fighters. Um, again, you get those belts, then you're going to make yourself a cut above the rest. And then everybody's going to be gunning for you. The good thing about these guys is look like they, they're willing and, um, you know, and they want those type of challenges. And I think Haney called, contacted Lopez the day after the fight, and he said that he's willing to, you know, give him what he wants. So if I look at this matchup, you know, Haney, 24 and 0, 15 knockouts, 5 9. Um, Tiafimo Lopez is 16 0, 12 knockouts, and he's an inch shorter at 5 8. Good boxer puncher. Um, I think that when you have fighters like this, um, Lopez, when he fought against Basile, he has some advantage, especially that height, the size, um, and it's just Lomachenko is going to have a tough time with a guy like uh, Tefimo Lopez. But Haney being a fact, he's a little bit taller. He's a little bit taller. That's going to create more problems for him. And he's a he's a pretty big 135 pound fighter. Also, Haney's not like a hard puncher, but he's a razor sharp puncher. And I think that what was would give the female Lopez problems is like I say, the height, that speed, and then he's going to be hitting to to Fima Lopez because he's a, a lot more easier to hit than Devin. Devin is a slick fighter, so that's going to give to Fima Lopez trouble. So I would lean towards Devin Haney. The only thing that I'm apprehensive about is Devin Haney's competition and approach. And so that's that's the biggest concern that I would have. But Fima Lopez really doesn't have that great of a resume himself. It's just that he had that last fight against Loma. Um, but again, just based on his skill sets, I think that Haney would take that match. The interesting thing, though, is that Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, they went three and three against each other in the amateurs. So after that, I would like to see them tangle um, after that unification match if Haney is to win. So all I have to go off of is what I've seen so far. So the data I have, Lopez up to this point, um, he's proven himself to be the top lightweight so far based on his wins um, and possibly pound for pound somewhere. I don't know. I, I haven't ranked my pound for pound since Saturday, but possibly. Uh, Haney has not proven himself up to this point. Haney's biggest competition has been against, I don't know, Alfredo Santiago. If anybody knows who that is, then you're a bigger boxing fan than me. Um, so... Not to say that Haney wouldn't step up in competition, because he will, obviously, once he's tested. But because of because Lopez has already done it, I would actually give Lopez a slight edge right now. You know, looking at sort of their stats, uh, Haney has a longer reach with 71 inches versus Lopez 68 and a half inches. Um, they're the same height otherwise. Like you said, Lope, uh, Haney is razor sharp. Uh... You know, Lopez has been in deep, deeper waters and, you know, against league competition. It's like 51-49 right now. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to call, but I would love to see it, though. This fight it will be an interesting fight to, to choose. You know, I'm a Haney guy. I think Haney has a lot of advantages over Lopez, but Lopez has that victory. He's more proven. He has the power. Um, and we don't know if, if Devin Haney can, can even take that type of punch. Um, but one thing that's interesting about those two, and even the lightweights, all these fights that we anticipate, it's funny. All these guys have sparred one another. It's interesting. Um, you have to keep up with who sparred who. Lopez, Haney, Garcia, and 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 Dramonte Davis, they've all sparred one or two or all of them. It's interesting. So they all are acquainted with one another. They know one another. They know what each other, each of them can do. Um, so with that, I think I think out of all of them, Lopez might seem the most confident. But I think Haney, uh, even before that, for the win uh, of Lopez beating Lomachenko, Haney was more confident in that he could beat Lopez before all of that. I think the win with Lomachenko is. 
the way that that fight went, I think it, to an extent is being kind of blown out of proportion. Like Lopez just went in there and just dominated the entire fight. And he's saying he did this and did that. You watch that second half of the fight. He's, he's, he was getting his neck snapped back when Lomachenko started firing shots at him, and he didn't look that good. I mean. Of course, he had the, the, the power to bail him out in the 12th round, but if he did not have that power, Lomachenko was putting it on him. And and you have to wonder, what would that be like if someone like Devin Haney starts to put it on him? Because we know it's going to happen sometime in that fight. So for that, how that fight went, I would have to favor Devin Haney in that fight. I think he has a, a lot of skill sets. The only thing, he is improving. But, but then again, um, I remember when Andre Ward entered that Super 6, he wasn't improving proven neither and I and I would have lost that bet. So right now I'm putting my bet I'm betting on Devin Haney to, to be the, the top guy at lightweight.